Hello, Carrie here. I'm sharing with you today. Oh, some lovely stuff I've got in the post. Look at it, this paper, which is absolutely gorgeous. So I've got three pads, being so naughty. Alchemy and two time related ones. <laughs> Alchemy is my favorite. I'm gonna show you this, look at this. This is from a company called Stamperia. They're based in Italy, so it's got a bit of an Italian feel to it, and I can feel it. Look at that beautiful bee lady. I love how she's got stripes on her dress. Look at that beautiful key with some gears in. I love the owl. I just love them all. So this is the front page. And you can even use these bits from the front, I'm thinking. And then the inside front cover is just beautiful, so you can use that. Anyway, there's these things that you can cut out. And at the back of them, look, you've got space to write on. So they'd be great in tuck spots in books. Look at this. This is just gorgeous. I absolutely adore that. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. It's just so nice. Stick it on the wall, I think. And then the back of it, look at that. It's like the other way round. It's beautiful. And this as well. I can imagine using bits and pieces of that. And then there's this gorgeous background. This is also giving me inspiration for backgrounds I can make of my own. So as well as me being able to use it, I know I've got inspiration galore. And these gorgeous cards. I love them all. Look at the owl. I love the owl. And I love that with the little moth, I think. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. And the back of them is simple enough that you can still write on them, I'm thinking, if you cut them out. This is gorgeous. I could cut that out. I'd happily cut that out. Every single part of that is adorable. I love it. And then there's the back. That's beautiful blue. Very soft, gentle blue. I can imagine me using that in something. Oh, look at these two pieces. Now, I could use the all of it, or I could use a little bit on the left and a little bit on the right. On the back is some more writing. I think that's the same as on the inside front cover, which is useful because that's plenty of that I can use. That's good. Although, I may... So you can cut that bit out, I'm thinking. And then you can cut that bit out. Mm, that'll be good. And there's all these lovely bits, and I don't know how to use these. They're just all so nice. I might have to use the paint. Look at that. I love a bee. Love that bee. I'm thinking of doing a journal on bees, actually. And there's these little cards you could cut out. But then there's things like the owls on top, so I'm not sure. I've got to decide. Lots of little bits at the bottom there. Little tickety bits. Love those. I just love it all. I mean, I'm enamoured. That's beautiful. Look at all these you can cut out. <gasps> They'll be nice as labels on front covers of books that's beautiful that's so beautiful and i love these numbers i love using numbers in my artwork so that's great i love the number seven with the uh, f uh, moon face and that number seven and that number one up there is lovely and that with all the numbers on oh, i could use all of these quite happily quite happily and at the back of that it's just some beautiful checker checkered pages love that these are bookmarks love those and these circles you could cut out they look really nice and on the other side um it coordinates so if you cut them out you'll have something beautiful on both sides which is what i really like about this pad that it's double-sided that's beautiful and the back page is lovely as well you can even cut out bits and pieces and use those i would use that for sure lovely so that's my favourite of all three. Love that one. But I love this one as well. Just wait till you see this. Inside cover is some newsprint, which I love. And that bit of... And look at that. I love that face. And the textures around it. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And this, I love the crackler. And the beautiful textures. It's like old wallpaper. Reminds me of going around Venice and seeing all these lovely textured walls lovely you could use that bit i'm thinking and then you could cut out all the other bits look at that it's just so lovely beautiful old wallpaper and oh it's just so gorgeous so gorgeous a bit more of that newsprint which i really love i love that more crackler as well that lovely edge and the crackler beautiful and there's some more of the newsprint on that side as well it's just so nice that's the same as the inside front cover. There's these two little tags or bookmarks. Love the um, lovely bit of writing on there. Beautiful.
beautiful. Time is an illusion, so it is. <laughs> and on the other side, it's got the bags which you can use in um, journals for writing on. Look at that. That's like rust and, oh, so nice. Beautiful. Very, very Venetian, I feel. Lovely. Look at that blue and the textures as well. Love that. Love those eyes. I've got a friend who's got eyes those colours, but the other way round. <laughs> you must be tired because you have been running through my mind all day. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh, it's just so nice. And on the back, I love this. This is like woven paper. And it's something that we can all try. I might have a go at that myself. See, it's inspiring me to try other things as well as using the papers. It's time. Let's cut that out and use that in something. And those. And then there's this patch over here. Sorry, I've got a bit off screen there. Sorry, my lamp is in the in the image. Never mind. Sorry about that. Never mind. Oh, that's just so lovely. Oh, beautiful. Bellissima. Look at that. Beautiful textures. Oh, look at that. Lovely. I could use these. I don't know what I could use. Yeah. I just love layer upon layer upon layer. And those circles, I don't know what I could use with, do with those. I may have to cut them out. I'm not quite sure I've got the right hole punch for those. Uh, punch for those. Look at that texture there. And I love these. I love these keyholes. They'll be fun to use in some pieces. So many ideas are being sparked off by this paper. I do feel a bit lazy buying paper. But it's, um, I think it's going to inform some more artwork from me. Oh, so love the delicate colours of that. So that's that one. I love that. So those two are mine. This one, <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm going to part with this one. This is going to be um, included in the giveaway I'm going to do, which is going to be when I reach 1,000 subscribers. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. We're doing it, folks. And this is going to be included in my giveaway, but when you see it, you see why I'm crying, because it's just so lovely. It's got all these lovely clock faces and gears and things, and it's beautiful again. Beautiful, and lovely texture there. And I love these um, dangling clocks. Pocket watches, I think they were called. Look at that texture. These can all be cut out separately. Lovely gears. Just love them. And on the other side, it's fairly plain, so you can still write on them, use them as touch spots and things in journals. I might even use some as postcards, actually. And this is lovely. It's got some Italian writing underneath. Look at that texture. Look at those clocks. Aren't they beautiful? Love those pages. So, oh, I might have to buy myself another one of these because I do love it so much. Beautiful. Beautiful tags. And they're fairly plain on the back as well, which is good. Love that blue. Love that blue on those. I love the fence. The fencing on this as well. That's going to be good as well. Look at that. You can see some faded wallpaper peering through. And on there. Love those keys. I'd like to use those in something. I've actually got some rusty keys of my own somewhere. I love that rusty effect. That's very cleverly done. Look at that rust. Isn't that amazing? So nice. Oh, lovely. Beautiful textures on this one. Some writing showing through. And on that page as well. I love the diamonds. I love using diamonds in my artwork. This is so textured. It's like raised wallpaper. Amazing. Or plaster work. Love that rusty line there. That's nice. Use that in something. Oh no, I can't use it. I'm giving it away. Ah, damn it. <laughs> uh, that's it. So I'm going to put that back in its wrapping. And this is the company, Stamperia.com. They're based in Italy, but um, I found a place in Spain that supplies the UK. I'm sure there must be a supplier in America as well. Um, I don't know about elsewhere in the, in the world. But anyway, love them. 
So it's 10 sheets, so double sided, the weight is 170 gra gra what's it? gr, whatever that means, a 12 by 12 inch, which is 30 by 30 centimetres, and it's good, good quality, very pleased with those. So that's the papers, my paper love is over, so now I've been buying some hardware, I really felt I needed some hardware for my journals, so... I purchased these. I've been wanting these for ages. I found them, not, found them on Amazon. And you can use them for holding papers. I, I think for photography, they were used a lot um, because it holds down the pages, but also doesn't obscure what's underneath. So I'll be using these. Love them. So pleased to have these. I love, I love, I love stationery. So I've got loads. Oh, loads. So I'll be sharing them with friends. So, unfortunately, I won't keep them all. There's no point in me having them all. I'm going to share them. So, I love Tim Holtz stuff. I absolutely adore Tim Holtz stuff. But I won't buy it because I feel that if I buy Tim Holtz stuff, I'll end up with work that's solely Tim Holtz, not Carrie. <laughs> so, but I do like the hardware and I don't feel the hardware would um, influence me too much. So I bought these tiny, tiny clips. Look, aren't they gorgeous? And they're different colours. There's like a blacky kind of one and a brassy kind of one. And they're so cute. Look, I'm going to show you how cute they are. I'm just going to clip it onto this postcard. Look. Is that so cute? That'd be nice with, with a couple of things pinned underneath. I have ideas for those already. So I purchased those. I can't quite see what colours they are. I think they are just black and brass looking beautiful though I'll have fun with those don't you think yes and then I got these tiny little paper clips I do love paper clips I'm a bit of a collector of paper clips I have a bit of a thing about them so I've got these tiny little trombones look aren't they gorgeous and they come in different colors as well there's three different colors there's a, a I think there's a blacky color a brassy color and a coppery color I'm going to pop one on this now to see what that looks like. They're just so cute. They've been asked for tiny tags and things. Look, they're just lovely. Love them. So I'll pop that back in there. So that's my stationery haul. I have had a lovely, lovely time sharing these with you. And I've had a lovely time opening the parcel up. Here's a lovely paper again. I hope you enjoyed watching. I really enjoyed sharing. <laughs> Such fun buying things. I haven't bought anything for ages. Thank you for watching. Bye.